Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. I post new budgeting related videos three times every week. That's usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and then again on Fridays. So if that is content that sounds like something that you may be interested in, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified for when I post new videos. It really, really helps out my channel. So yeah, today I am setting up my May calendar. So I know that technically like this video is actually going up like almost two weeks after when I set up my May budget. But just like timing wise in the month, this is when it made the most sense for this to go up. Um, technically my make my May budget was actually supposed to go up on like a Wednesday, but I had to push it to the Monday because I was going to be a little bit delayed filming my week one spending check-in for April. So you guys are seeing this video a bit late, but I think that that's okay because really this video for me, I just need to lay out exactly where my bills fall for my paychecks because I am now paid bi-weekly. So that is why I have these two days circled here. I am paid on the 6th and then I'm paid again on the 20th. So basically I use this calendar to just basically lay out where my bills fall within this period so that I know um, when I have my different bills coming out and just making sure that my paycheck or my bills don't go higher than my paycheck. I'm also going to circle this here. I forgot to do that before because I'm paid again on the 3rd, but that's the 3rd of June and that's going to be part of my June budget. So anyways, let's lay down all of my bills so that you can see where everything, where everything happens. <laughs> so the first thing that I have is on the 7th and that is when I have my hydro bill. Um, so I budget roughly $70 for my hydro. I don't know that exact amount, but it normally has never, okay, I take that back. I don't think it's ever gone over $70. So that is why I budget for 70. Hydro for me, for, to, for anybody who's interested is electricity, but gas actually does heat my home. The next bill that I have coming out is a big one. So <laughs> that is my Scotiabank credit card. So that's on the 15th of the month. And that I put aside $525 now for that card. That is not the true minimum payment for my Scotiabank card. That is the new inflated minimum. So if you missed my April debt overview, you'll know that going forward, I am now putting at minimum $750 a month towards my debt. I've honestly been struggling a lot with spending and spending more than I should. But by doing like this, like hugely inflated minimum payment, it really does help me a lot because it sort of like forces me to put money towards my debt. And if this money isn't in my account, I'm not going to spend it. Uh, the next bill that I have is on the 16th and that is my iCloud subscription and that is just $2 every month. And then on the 17th, I actually have my car insurance. So actually this paycheck, like this paycheck number one for May is actually a rather high balance of bills. So that is $120 for my car insurance. Uh, the next bill I have is on the 19th and that is Netflix. So Netflix, I budget $12 a month for that. And then my next bill is on the 22nd and that is my Tangerine credit card. That Tangerine credit card, again, as you can see, because I'm paid again on the 20th, that comes out of paycheck number two. And Tangerine, I do $225. Um, my next bill is on the 28th and that is my phone bill and my phone bill is $59 a month. The next one that I have <laughs> is on the first. So my the first, technically I have my rent and this is something that I have to do for my personal budget. So what I actually do is I split my rent payment. So on the first of the month, I would have to pay $1,200 for my rent. But what I actually do is on the each day that I get paid, so on the sixth, I would put aside my rent and I would put aside $600. And then on the 20th, which is the next day I'm, I get paid, I also put $600 away from my rent. So that makes it so that on the first, I don't have to cover $1,200 with this paycheck. I can cover it with this like half of a uh, paycheck <laughs> every time. I know a lot of other people do that. It honestly really does help me out quite a bit. I am thinking that I might have to start splitting up this payment. I will, I know I definitely will have to split it when 
this card is paid off and my tangerine credit card as part of like my debt snowball becomes $750 a month. But for now, I'm hoping that this works. But again, if it doesn't, that's fine. I'll just know that I need to adjust this. And maybe instead of putting $600 away from my rent on the Friday, I'll only put aside maybe like $400 and then I'll put $800 in this paycheck. But we'll have to see how this all works out when I add everything up. Again, I'm doing this with you guys like in advance. Again, I'm filming this in advance, but you're seeing this when I'm doing this for the first time, if that makes sense. But on top of my rent on the first, <laughs> sorry, I also have my tenant's insurance. So my tenant's insurance is $25. And then the next bill that I have is my internet, but my internet is actually on the third. So that becomes a, a bill that I don't have to pay until June. So let's grab my calculator, which I have here already. And let's figure out the total balance that I have in bills for this first paycheck, which is May the 6th through May the 19th. So first I have my rent for 600, then I have high Hydro for 70, then I have 525 for Scotia, $2 for iCloud, 120 for car insurance, and 12 for Netflix. So that's a total bill amount of $1,329. That was terrible writing, you guys. I apologize. $1,329. Honestly, you know what? I'm just going to wipe that out. That just looks so bad. <laughs> I can barely read that and I'm the one who wrote it. So that's so bad. Okay, let's try that again. $1,329. Okay. Then for paycheck number two, um, I have my rent, which is 600. Then I have my tangerine, which is 225. I have my phone bill, which is 59. And then I have my tenant's insurance, which is 25. So that's a total for paycheck number two of $939. So the other things that I want to take into consideration is like my variable spending. So on top of these bills, I also try to put aside um, my variable spending. So I have $60 a week for groceries, then I have $20 for dining out, $20 for gas, and $20 for miscellaneous spending. So that's $120, so for two weeks. So that makes my variable spending $240. So I have to factor that in as well. So let's add these up. So I have 1,329 plus 240. So that gives me a total then for that paycheck of $1,569. And then for this paycheck, I have 939 plus 240. So that's $1,179. Now my new income is $1,836. So if I subtract that $1,569, I am left with $267. Um, for this first paycheck. And then for this paycheck, I have $1,179 and I subtract that from 1,836. So that means this paycheck, I have $657 left over. So that means to me, um, I can cover my bills. I'm not worried about running out of money during either of these paychecks, but I do know that I'm not going to be able to do my sinking fund video until after I get paid on the 20th because my sinking funds, I do $250 a month for sinking funds and then I do $80 every Friday. So like there's four Fridays in this, like one, two, three, four, for savings. So that's a total of $330. So I wouldn't be able to do my sinking fund video between the 6th and the 19th. I have to wait until I get my first paycheck, which is fine. It's just something for me to note that when I'm doing like my content calendar for the month of May, I have to make sure that I get paid before I take that money out of the bank to do my sinking funds. But I'm really happy that I was still able to make all of that work. So anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys, so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Amelia, and this is Amelia Budgets. My next video is going to be up on Monday, and that will be my week three spending check-in for the month of April. And again, I know that that's actually into June <laughs> by the time you guys are seeing this. Again, I'm filming this way in advance, but when you're seeing this, I know that Monday is June. But for me, what I'm doing now is like every time I get paid, so like I got paid in April on the 8th and the, sec and the 22nd. So like week one for me in April, April was April the um it was April 8th through the 14th 
even though again that's like way into April that was week one for me in April which is why you're seeing week three which is technically April 22nd through April the 28th on June because I've um, sort of like shifted my calendar so that I have a few extra days after like a week ends in order to like film and upload these videos so yeah the next video that you're going to see on Monday <laughs> and that's week three Anyways, I hope you all have an amazing weekend and I will talk to you again on Monday. Goodbye, everyone.